Hey everyone, I'm Jenny from Crazy Crafts. Today I'm going to show you how I've stood up my five foot skeletons. They come boxed like this. I've used a Kaza doll stand made for small dolls, Barbies, Kens, or other dolls. They come with a variety of different sizes of the opening because they're designed to go around the waist of whatever you can use, but I've put them around the neck of my skeleton. What we're going to do first is pinch the top part of the stand so we can pull it out of the bottom part. You may get them, if you buy them online, you may get them separately, so you can just put this part aside, you don't need it. Then I've got a tall pole. This one obviously is nearly six foot tall, maybe five foot eight. Uh, it's about a centimetre or so in the opening, um, and it's metal. Um, you can probably buy these from any hardware store. Uh, make sure it's hollow because you need to insert the doll stand inside of the opening of the tube. This now goes around either the neck or the waist of whatever you're uh, standing up. So I've put it about two or three vertebrae down on my skeleton because it's this particular one is too small to go too close to their head. So once you've done that, it'll all stand up. First I actually had to hammer this into the ground to make him stand up. Uh, my skeleton's an outdoor one, so that's not a problem. If you want to use an indoor setup, obviously my, my pole's a bit old and rusty, but it's perfect for Halloween. Um, you can get some kind of cross for the bottom, a wooden one or whatever, I can make those for you if need be. Uh, and get the poles and the doll stands, and hammer, attach all that together first. Make sure the pole is only as tall as what your skeleton needs to sit at. Um, if you need that cut, I can do that for you too. And so then you put your uh, stand in the top of there, attach it to the neck of your skeleton, and Bob's your uncle, he'll just stand up there. It's really noisy out here because we live on a main road, but you can see the skeleton is standing, although you should put the pole a bit deeper into the ground. And I'll just take you around and show you the back of his neck. probably won't stand up in a high wind in this location or if you can get it lower on his neck or even around his lower spine at his waist that would also work but as you can see he's happily standing there of his own accord obviously wearing his sand suit at the moment because it's nearly Christmas thanks for watching